Hi, my name is Christopher Malcolm, and welcome to Movable Canvas, where we talk about cinema, art, culture, and where those three things sometimes intersect. In today's episode, we'll go big, really big, as in Penny Marshall's 1988 comedy classic, Big, starring Tom Hanks and Elizabeth Perkins. Written by Gary Ross and Ann Spielberg, sister to Stephen, Big is one of those comedies about aging that doesn't really seem to age. It's one of those rare films that both kids can watch and enjoy as well as adults. A light truffle of a movie that still somehow manages to touch on something poignant about humanity. The film is what would be described as a high concept comedy. It charts the course of Josh Baskin, a charming yet undersized kid living in the suburbs of New York with his mother, played by Mercedes Rule. When the 13 year old Josh attempts to woo the affections of a classmate, resulting only in him being passed over in favor of a slightly older and slightly taller boy, the distraught Josh makes a wish at a mysterious carnival game to make him bigger. Much to his surprise, the following morning, the 13-year-old Josh has suddenly sprouted into a fully grown Tom Hanks. Well, physically at least. But mentally, his mind remains the province of a 13-year-old boy. That much of the story you probably already know, but what follows is an, an honest portrayal of a universal truth about humanity. When we're young, we always wish we were older. But when you grow up, much of your time is spent hopelessly trying to hold on to your youth. The grass is always greener on the other side. The trick in life is to grow old without growing old. Easier said than done. Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors. It's often said that Hanks is his generation's Jimmy Stewart, and I think that's a pretty apt comparison. But with films like Forrest Gump, Saving Private Ryan, and Sleepless in Seattle, just to name a few, it's safe to say that his is one of the most iconic faces ever to grace the silver screen. Of course, when I first saw the film in 1988, to me, he was just a guy from Bosom Buddies. I mean, sure, he made Splash and The Man with One Red Shoe, but my initial impression of him was as the guy who was dressed up in women's clothing so he could afford to rent an apartment. If that setup sounds a little weird for a TV show, well, it was the 80s. What can I say? Splash was a big hit, but to me, Big is really the film where I started thinking of Hanks as a movie star. And even though the film was made over three decades ago, the very quintessential Hanks of it all is still evident then as it is now. Tom Hanks, like Jimmy Stewart, is an everyman on screen. Whether his character is a World War II captain or an AIDS patient struggling to survive, he has a quality about him that allows the audience to sink into his shoes. I think purity might be the wrong word, but there's a fundamental decency about him that he brings to every part. It makes you want to root for him. I mean, consider the failure of a movie like The Bonfire of the Vanities, and one of the main reasons for that film's demise, among many, being that it's simply hard for an audience to look at Tom Hanks and see a bad person. There's almost a childlike innocence to him. It, it's funny because as I was watching the film, it dawned on me that only six years later, he'd be slipping into possibly the most iconic role of his career as Forrest Gump, a man whose childlike innocence is at the very core of how he views the world and how the story plays out. In Big, he got to literally play a 13-year-old boy trapped in an adult's body. Ironically, at the same time, I thought of director Penny Marshall mostly for her own work on television as well. But not as a director. Instead, I knew her as one half of the titular characters of Laverne and Shirley. I guess she and Tom Hanks must have gotten along as they both would pair again in another of her greatest hits, A League of Their Own. In Big, what the two of them found was a story that perfectly illustrated one of the cruelties of getting older. It's not just the horror show that happens to our bodies as we begin to age. It's not the responsibilities of jobs and taxes. What we tend to lose most as we get older is our ability to simply play. And worst of all, this playfulness tends to slip away in the darkness of the night when we're not even looking. One of my high school classmates was the daughter of Billy Crystal, and as such, he gave the commencement speech at my high school graduation. I don't remember a lot of speeches I heard in high school, but I do remember his. In the speech, he told a story about him being a child and first seeing a man landing on the moon. He discussed the kind of wonder and joy that it engendered in him as a child. Then he compared that feeling to subsequent feelings as more and more space missions went into outer space. Over time, the amazing began to feel simply ordinary, those things that made us speechless were now routine. He chastised us to remember one simple concept as we grew older. Maintain your sense of wonder. Never grow so old that you cease to be amazed at all the wonder life can bring. A child comes to this naturally. Everything a child sees is likely the first time he or she has ever seen it. They can pick up a toy and only see possibilities, whereas a grown adult might look at the same toy only for its marketing potential or source of advancement for their career. 
Josh Baskin's ability to tap into his childlike joy is natural. He is, despite all appearances, still a 13-year-old boy. And it is this ability to maintain his innocence that first brings him to the attention of the owner of a major toy manufacturer, Mr. McMillan, played by veteran actor Robert Loja. When he first looks at Josh, he sees someone still able to connect to his childlike impulse. This makes him an ideal employee for a toy company. But this also taps into McMillan's own desire to maintain his own youth. And this ultimately leads to one of the most famous scenes in movie history as Josh and Mr. McMillan dance on a human-sized piano to the tune of Heart and Soul. Whereas Mr. McMillan is anxious to maintain his connection to childhood, Susan, played by Elizabeth Perkins, has to be coaxed into the idea. A hard-charging executive at a toy company, she puts her career over all else. Money and position have taken the place of fun and enjoyment in her heart. In short, she's a typical adult. While her initial interest in Josh is purely professional, it soon becomes clear that what Susan really needs instead of a promotion is to know how to relax and learn to enjoy life again. Forget about corporate advancement just for a moment and simply jump up and down on a trampoline. Fall in love. Even though she's actually falling in love with a 13-year-old, but to be fair, she had no way of knowing that this at the time. And a she's a he's a 13-year-old in a 30-year-old's body, so the less you think about it, the better. Susan Bai is the main theme of the film. Don't be in such a hurry to grow up. Jared Rushton, who plays Josh's still 13-year-old best friend, Billy, also deserves some credit here. The abilities of child actors can vary greatly depending on the film, but he brings a memorable uniqueness to Billy. I mean, after seeing the movie as a kid, there was no shortage of boys my age pretending to have silly putty fights in the break room at school. And clearly part of the joy for me as an adult watching the film was flashing back to all the things I used to play with and the those good old days before the things like the internet and social media, like PC games and countless toys that transformed into other toys. Big continues to be infinitely watchable because it displays the most basic of human truths. We don't have a choice about getting older, but we do have a choice about getting old. Thanks again for watching another episode of Movable Canvas. If you enjoyed this type of content, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button below. And let me know what you think of the film in the comments. I mean, do you remember seeing the film for the first time? Did you immediately run out looking for an oversized piano to dance on? I know I did. Did you wish you had a trampoline in your bedroom? Would love to know what you thought of the film in the comments, but until then, thanks for watching and, well, stay young forever.